Yo, what is going on everyone? It is Memory here. We are here for more of that high Q greatness. This being the 17th episode of the fourth season. Previous episode, man. Tonica, the shine they gave our boy was just amazing. I loved it. You know, and after the, not the previous episode, but the episode before that and just a lot of the shit it was getting and all of that, they, they definitely bounced back in a big way with the previous episode. I loved what we had, everything about the previous episode with Tanaka, and it looks like what we're going to be heading into with this episode, I don't know if it's just going to be a one episode thing or it's going to be multiple episodes, but just based off the title of this episode, we're going to have some Nekoma focus. So how would you not be down for that? Of course we're down for that. I'm excited for it. We're going to see you know what we have with this episode. We're hopping into it, everyone. We're starting at the very beginning, zero seconds and we're gonna get into it in three two one hi so yeah we finished the first set though in our in the matchup but it looks like we're gonna be kind of shifting to some nekama focus nekama the cats there's Kuro. Kenma. Kuro. Oh. Playing Saru Sarukawa Tech. Two strong defensive teams going at it. That's always interesting. <laughs> All right. So, yeah, it looks like we're going to have, just based on how they obviously have started the episode, we're going to have strictly, most, I guess we could see some cars, you know, like maybe mixed in there. But it looks like primarily it's going to be Nekoma, which is cool that they're doing that, right? It's definitely cool that they're doing that because, obviously, Nekoma, probably besides Karasuna is like the other I would say, I mean, there's Alba Josai that we obviously had a big focus, but Nekoma's up there too. You know, the battle at the, the, the promised battle, you know, the garbage dump, like there's that too, so. So we're going to be taking a little break from our match, it seems like. And after the first set, it's actually kind of good timing to, to do it, I feel like, before, you know, hopping into the next set. I know some people will be like, oh, I wish they could hop right into the next set, but I appreciate, you know, when shows give focus to the other teams, you know. It's not all just about Karasuna, obviously. I think we all know this. <laughs> and it helps make those matches against each other just so much more impactful, like just so much more weight, you know, on it when they give the focus to the other teams and the other players in the way they do. All right, cats versus monkeys. Where all the attentions on you. <laughs> we gonna get some uh, some backstory here. So I was hoping it's still the same, still the same way. <laughs> what is he playing? He's not, he's playing a mobile game, so.
No niin. No niin. <laughs> Don't put too much weight into it or on it. I just kind of it's kind of going with the flow. Kind of going with the flow, I guess, right? Like <laughs> leveling up. That's a way to put it, I guess. <laughs> He knows exactly when to slack. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Look at his eyes. <laughs> I, I can relate. I can relate to Kedma, honestly, a lot. Ever since we started practicing with Karasuno, kind of sparked a little something, a little something, right, in him. <laughs> oh, the way they're putting this is pretty cool. Of course. Oh, of course. Of course. The rivalry oh, we know is real. Like it's it's insane. Like got jump. He's got games. Oh, that's curl reading jump, okay. <laughs> Aw. Man's reminiscing. Probably will be Curl. Hey, it could be Kenma too. <laughs> oh, the soft touch. Got it up. Jeez. Oh, so there's kind of a storyline. There's kind of a storyline here. One of the GOAT coaches, for sure. They're deliber what, are they deliberately trying to do something specifically? Hey, was that Lev? I was wondering, like, where's Lev at? Where's Lev? Did we see Lev? Did 
Really trying to throw them off their rhythm. Okay. To make their setter run. To, to wear them out. They're trying to wear Kenma down. Put as much pressure on Nekoma's setter as you can. Starts making errors slipping up when he's tired. Okay, so that's what they're deliberately, yeah. I was like, are they trying to do one thing specifically? That's what they're trying to do. Take out their brain. They take out the brains of the operation, though. Dang. Okay. <laughs> oh, you got you got robots. You got. I think we saw a slime. We saw like. Oh, <laughs> uh, this is this is cool. I relate so much to Kevin though, because I was the same way. Like when I played basketball, right? But like, I was big into games at the same time too. I didn't think about it like in this way, but it's just kind of. I was a big gamer at the same time. I was really crazy about basketball, so. <laughs> Guts. Is that a railgun reference? Is that a is that a railgun reference? <laughs> I don't think it is, but that would be pretty cool. <laughs> nice one, dude. Nice one. <laughs> nice, nice one. I was about to say that. Yeah, they're putting some, some obviously on Kenmo, but on on now on Yamamoto too. Quite a bit. <laughs> He's trying to get to him, kind of. You could tell, or or something like. But Kemba just says, doesn't really care. <laughs> That's why he was going at him like this. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> Curl's just loving it. Curl's loving it. Trying to get him to open up, like was trying to get him to open up like a little bit, you know. <laughs> it's hard to break people out of that shell, you know. It's like it takes, you know, it maybe never will happen. But uh, I mean, kind of like a process, kind of a thing you got to take 
slowly. <laughs> Amamoto putting in the <laughs> really put in the extra work. Man was fired up. <laughs> guts, guts. Uh, I was about to say, just from his reaction, how he's he kind of wasn't playing that good. Oh, and he did that. <laughs> and he did that. So he, you know, he obviously looked up, still looks up to Kuro, but, you know, I mean, Kuro is kind of like that character, you know, like a big bro type of everyone looks up to him kind of thing on the team. Try to reach out. Try to reach out to him. And he's he's just kinda right. He is kinda right. I wonder if it is like a railgun reference. That would be actually really cool. It's probably not, but the way he's on about guts, guts, guts is like that's what I think of at least. Uh oh. Oh. <laughs> He's like, shit, this backfired. <laughs> this. <laughs> Sometimes you need that. That's right. That is right, too. Is, that's the loudest we've heard him get. <laughs> it won't help you beat the game. Aren't they like really close now though? Like him and Yamamoto, like in the present time, like they're really close. Was that Kuro? Oh no. <laughs> it's it's the jokester. <laughs> I thought maybe it was curl or something, but dang. <laughs> That's a way to do it. That's a way to stop something. <laughs> He's like, oh. <laughs> He's like, huh? You were shouting? Like, that's the loudest we've heard you get to this point. <laughs> you need that, though. Like, you need someone to kind of push you. Like, they pushed each other. For sure. Like, I think, like I said, I think now in the present time where they're at, they're, like, pretty close. You know, they're, like, there's, a, you know, that's growth. That's...
butting heads, kind of but pushing each other to you know they, I like that. Oh, hit him with that. <laughs> Two meters. <laughs> But you see, like, Yamamoto is starting to see, like, they're, they're starting to see, I guess, more about each other. It's not just one-sided. Look how Yamamoto's looking at him. <laughs> I'm glad he's not on the other team. They're both thinking the same thing. See, they're, they were starting to see more about each other, kind of come to understand each other more. He, you know, seeing how he hates, how Kenma hates losing. I mean, even even when they got in that little argument, that heated argument, like, either of them wasn't backing down. Like, either of them didn't want to lose. Now, here comes the water. Watch out, Mr. Freeze. <laughs> Ooh, nice. Okay, we're back in the present, I think. Yeah. Kind of smart thinking, honestly. Damn. Oh, they were up by like two, weren't they? They were up by two or three. Now they're down two. I'm trying to make him work for it. Trying to bring him down. But will he rise up in this moment? I think he will. So I guess I'm going to continue on with this. I think Ken will pu uh, Kenma will push through. I think he will. I think he'll overcome this. And start just snapping <laughs> or doing some crazy shit. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised, honestly. So it looks like this is going to be a multiple episode type thing, which probably maybe one more episode, I would say. That would probably make sense. But hey, you got to love and appreciate. The, obviously, we love Nekoma. Like, Nekoma is up there, like I said, you know, with Alba Josai. And just, there's so many great teams, obviously, in this series. We know this. Like, I don't even have to say that. But, um, you know, I feel like in the future... You know the the because there's the garbage there's the whole garbage dump thing there you know there's there's that stuff like this is gonna add so much more impact for that because I just love when series do this especially sports series the focus they give on the other teams you know and the individual players and their backstories and how they came up I love stuff like that um so the Kenma focus here even Yamamoto as well Kuro being kind of like the 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 big bro type of character everyone looks up to. I, you know, I love Kuro, um, but the, the Kenma and Yamamoto thing, how they were button heads, like, kind of pushing each other for the better, right? This made them understand each other more and made them better players as well. Like, you know, individually, like, and their teamwork, that too made that even better, I feel like, you know, for sure. So I, I like how they did that uh, with with the both of them. Honestly, that, that was really cool, I, I got to say. Um, you know, we see where they're at in the present now uh, in in – I would say Kenma's back is kind of against the wall right now. You know how you can tell he's exhausted in, in where we're at in the present, which we're going to continue on with in the next episode. You can tell he's exhausted. And this is the time, especially 
with where we're at here, you know, in the present, the stage and just this type of match, you, you know, this is where you really like. Like I said, I'm confident. I think Kemba will pull through, and he'll like pull something out from within him, you know, to kind of overcome this and how they're kind of targeting him, which is a is a smart tactic. I gotta say, from a coaching perspective, so I gotta kind of give it up to to the team they're playing, and obviously their coach, he was mentored by Nekoma's coach, who's like a legend. So it's like you know that makes sense that he's a, he's a pretty good coach himself, formidable. So. Um, so yeah, I'm curious to see. I, I think Kemo will pull through. I think we're gonna see some, you know. And I, it's funny because they brought it up, like they're talking about Kuro shining the most, and Yaku was talking about shining the most. I think Kuro, oh uh, not Kuro, I think Kenma here with this match. They're down two points, I think, right now. I think Kemo's gonna pull through. I, I think even though they're targeting him right now, I think he's gonna do some crazy shit. Honestly, that's just me though. We'll see what happens. Uh, the Nekoma backstory, kind of them, they, most of it was backstory, but they did kind of flip between the present and, and the past. And, you know, seeing some, you know, Kuro and Kemo when they were younger and just, I, I love it. I love it, man. I love when shows do this in general, but especially sports series, because it's not all about, like, Karasuno. It's not all about, like, you think of, like, Ace of Diamond. It's, it's not all about that team. It's not all about, it's just like, I love when, they do that, you know, focus on other teams, individual characters, and, you know, because whenever, say, if they do match up against each other, or if there's a big match that they're in, it doesn't even have to be against the main team in the series. Um, you know, it could be against any other team, but it just adds more weight or more impact there, for sure. So, I, I think stuff like this definitely adds a lot to, you know, just the, the, the characters, but the series itself as well. So, uh, yeah, really enjoyed this episode, and we're going to have more of it. So I I'm really excited to see how it kind of leaves off uh, this part or this match with Nekoma and this team. So it probably should focus on it, I would think, maybe another episode or two before we go back to, you know, Karasuno and, and Arizaki, which there will be in the second set. So, uh, yeah, let me know what you guys thought of this episode of Haikyuu. If you guys did enjoy my reaction, make sure you drop a like, subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you all in the next one. Thank you for watching. Peace out.